Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a quiet Tuesday, April 9th. Not too much happening uh, in the markets here. Not too much going on on the economic calendar either. We have uh, Clarida speaking from the Fed just after lunch, uh, 12.45 Swiss time. I pulled up the uh, crude chart here because it's now getting incredibly stretched and the chatter is is uh, becoming unanimously bullish, um, which is a worry, but well, not a worry, uh, which I think could be a money-making opportunity for us. Um, conflict in Algeria, conflict in Libya, um, market caught short through sort of 63, 63 bucks. This is the hourly chart. We thought this might be um, a range high here, 64.40. But now in Asia, twilight zone, we traded up to 77. Interesting little pivot here at 34 on a little tactical trade. Um, we're going to sell some crude through that. Uh, and trade it on the short side. So conservatively trade it. Sell some, buy some, get a better average, try and resell some, buy some. And of course, if you don't get paid on the resell, uh, you look like an ass. But this is the style of trading when you're trying to uh, just randomly pick a top. You don't want to take massive big risk, you know, stepping in front of a... Uh, a slow-moving train uh, is death most of the time so just be careful but I just wanted to point this out this has come certainly a very long way the natural uh, I said more well, I would say more chunky technical point now is going to be around 65 and three quarters you see this will be resistance here from from the October um, breakdown so we're still a buck and a quarter away from uh, from the big resistance but here at privateer we, we're starting to look at the left hand side in crude keep it light keep it light uh, left hand side still tactically playing the left hand side in stocks as well even though it's in this massive bull phase um, like I said we've been we've been making money selling high ones um, you do not want to sell through the lows you don't you do not want to momentum trade this on the downside you want to sell high ones so today um, you know we'll be looking at between 06 and 14 we will try and put on a short same type of uh, management as the crude so you're you're putting on a short position you may t say you want to put on 10 minis um, your core might be five minis so you're selling some and then maybe five handles lower or four handles lower you're buying some which moves your average a little bit higher and you could possibly resell some again on the reach try and get yourself a safe average so that if um, if you get dinged at the at the highs, it's it's basically a scratch. Um, you're not going to um, make a million bucks doing this with this style of trading, um, but there is money to be made, and it does keep you uh, focused in a quiet market. You know, even yesterday we were offering you know we sold 98s on Friday we bought 91s we went down to 87 we were like well whatever we were reoffering 98s uh, didn't get done and then we just canceled uh, into the close we just canceled so we didn't resell those 98s we're just happy to be square waiting for the trigger here um, it's obviously overdone but it can obviously keep going um, and you don't want to sort of make an elephant-sized bet until you have confirmation of change in story. So we're keeping it light. 
selling high ones uh, in ES. We're looking in a very light manner to get short crude. FX, uh, not doing too much. Pretty bullish day in Euro yesterday. You know, we, we sold some uh, at 70. But, you know, didn't really do too much, so we just sort of squared it at the, at the close there. Um, this could easily go a little bit higher. Obviously, the ECB tomorrow... I don't think there's any chance in hell they're going to be bullish. But we could easily get a squeeze, as we saw from uh, one of our Twitter pals, uh, Chris Weston. Leveraged guys are, are short this stuff. Uh, there's some now options skew for buying calls. Uh, this could put some minor pressure on the top side. I'm, I'm certainly not going to be entering into the long um, side of this. Mainly because I just don't think there's there's tons of juice on either side. You know, it's it's just dead. Um, Euro's just dead right now, and so we're just waiting and watching. Um, but as I put on Twitter, you just wanna you wanna make sure you're looking on both sides uh, in the tactical book. Um, that's what the tactical tactical book is. Um, there's money to be made on both sides. Uh, so it just gives you more options, gives you more I trade ideas uh, for the day trade book. And, you know, when you want to get stuck into one side of the market, when you see there's a theme, obviously that's where the big money is made. But for the small smoothing out money, uh, you need to look both sides. Cable, God knows. Uh, I just bring it up because this now 129 you know, 86 or 129, 75, the 200 day, there will be uh, lots of action down there if we do see it. If labor walks out or if a piano falls on somebody's head, you know, God knows. Aussie and Kiwi are squeezing. Obviously, we are uh, we're left hand side Kiwi trading at core short. Well, it's incredibly slow and incredibly boring. Position size is sort of one-tenth of what we normally trade. Um, you could even argue that why why even bother trading this directional stuff uh, in this type of market. But here we are. We're trading one-tenth the normal size just to kind of stay in it, watch it, uh, and be more prepared for when this does uh, get ready. Aussie broke through this 30 level. I mean, it's five points higher. Nobody gives a shit. Uh, this is a sell now into, you know, you want to probably wait now if you're a seller like we are between 70 and the 200 day, which is 90. Are we going to get to 70? Uh, doubtful. Uh, are we just going to float around 40, you know, we're going to do a 2141 range today, probably. Uh, so, not too much to get excited about. I'll pull the gold chart up just because people got very bearish gold um, recently, and now it's kind of sneaking back higher. This gold higher uh, chart, we're not trading gold. We don't have any real idea on gold. I'll tell you what, a lot of people will have drawn this line. Um, this sort of neckline now it should be extended um, but anyway this will be the neckline head shoulder shoulder blah 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 we're not trading gold here but I'm just saying with gold moving higher like this this will put a little bit of downward pressure on the dollar um, and maybe the reason Aussie is kind of floating a little bit higher for all you Euro Bulls, uh, this is pretty good news. Uh, just something to watch. Not really too much else to say. Like I said, the calendar is super light. Uh, I recommend for the really disciplined, um, be disciplined, don't trade. Uh, for those of us who are like, 
very professionally disciplined but still are here at our desks uh, trade tiny you know and wait wait for the story to change or wait for the story um, to be confirmed we just have to wait for this market to wake up uh, and there's not a lot of money to be made in this drifty tiny ranged market and it's a shame if you lose money in this market this is this is basically what we're trying to do is you don't want to lose money in this type of market anyway good luck out there people uh, make the best of it and I will see you tomorrow